Come back to my back here very well, I hope you're having a day. Today we're going to vlog a vlog, amazing, another amazing illusion, seriously. Look, we're going to look today, lovely subject, Japanese magic, seriously. Japanese magic, okay, I love Japanese magic, alright. I want to go to Japan, I went to, been in Hong Kong, okay, been in China, I really want to go to Japan, okay. So I want to talk about this vlog for about five minutes about amazing magicians from Japan, seriously. Shimada, okay, Fuka, and also Princess Tango, okay. Sit back, relax, vlog a vlog for the next five minutes or so, amazing Japanese magic, some of the three of the best Japanese magicians of all time, okay, here we're going to go. Seriously, now well, actually, I want to go to Japan. I made a ride to Japan a couple of, about a couple of years ago. So they really, really love Japan. And of course, uh, I've been to Hong Kong. I've been to Chinese territories. I've been to the Buddhist temples, that kind of stuff. I've been up to Lantau, kind of uh, Lantau, kind of a Buddha, that kind of stuff. I've been all over the place, basically, in the far east, a little bit, and um, Thailand, that kind of stuff. But I really want to go, go to Japan. I, I want to go to so, Osaka. I want to go to Tokyo, kind of stuff, and see that area, really, really, you know, because it's very interesting. The magic, a lot of magic actually comes from Japan. Actually, seriously, a lot of it comes from Japan. There's many, many Japanese magicians that kind of stuff. It used to be a big toy band, in fact, called Tenko, actually, Tenko, or Tenyo, sorry, he's making a lot of, an awful lot of toys, actually, uh, which is toys and magic sort of stuff, it's called Tenny Magic, well, I heard of Tenny Magic, very good indeed. And I'm going to vlog today about three magicians, really good magicians, seriously, who are very good magicians from Japan, basically. There's one amazing one from the 60s, 70s, 80s called Shimada, another one called Fukai, who's big in the 80s and 90s, another one also from the 80s and 90s and 2000s called Princess Tenko, okay? So let's start a little bit on Shimada. Shimada's a really good magician. He was very, he, I think he started back in the 50s, Shimada. He's quite old now, I think, Shimada. And he, he appeared on the Dale Copperfield show about well, 30, 40 years ago, basically. He's a very good magician. I've got him on television right now. He's an amazing magician, Shimada. He does amazing stuff, okay, Shimada. He's lovely. He does kind of traditional Japanese stuff, merged with kind of, kind of Western kind of magic, okay? He does stuff with masks, change of masculine and changing, fire, kind of fire, kind of fa fans of fire, regular fans, fans turning the fire. Hands of Fire, yeah, it's kind of power source and the popular. pop out of nowhere basically. Very good indeed, seriously. Streams fly through the air. Traditional kind of, uh, kind of Japanese magic, seriously, okay. And it's very beautiful indeed. Okay, so let me show you in a minute a little bit of uh, footage I found on, on YouTube of uh, of Shimada, okay. Very British need seriously. Lovely, amazing stuff of power swords, fans of colour change languages, kind of stuff, beautiful kind of stuff, very oriental kind of feel of magic. So sit back, relax. For a couple of minutes, this guy, by the way, uh, entertained Emperor Hi Hirohito, apparently, back in the 60s, apparently, this guy, Shimada. He, I think he won some stuff in the 70s on some, some awards, in the 80s he became a bit of a TV star. And also did a lot of shows in Japan during the 90s. So sit back and relax for a couple of minutes and watch an amazing piece of uh, magic, alright, with fans of parasols, beautiful oriental magic with Shimada. Check this out.
It's very good, isn't it? I love it. I do love it. I love the kind of way the fan. I love the way kind of he, he does that Japanese kind of stuff with with the kind of mask and does the old woman and the bits popping out of his mouth. You know what I mean? Strip it back. I'm like, like the mouth of the mask. Very good. This stuff says is. I love that stuff. Very indeed. Now we go from there to another magician. Uh, again, back in the eighties and nineties, very popular magician in Japan called Fukai. Okay, F U. F U K O I, Food Guy's name is. a bit of a boy. He's a really good bloke, actually, Food Guy. And he's a very big magician in Japan, okay? He comes from the Shimada school, basically. He did what Shimada did a bit with all the parasols, and there's even more of it, okay? He, just, he literally produces what appeared to be thousands of parasols and umbrellas, okay? In a very Japanese oriental kind of act together, okay? Again, not so much a mask, but an awful lot of kind of handkerchiefs, color changing handkerchiefs and parasols and streamers, kind of stuff. Again, a very oriental magic. We've seen that with Jeff O'Brien, we've seen that with Shimada, okay? So sit back, relax for a couple of minutes and watch, I think, with. His amazing wife, I came from the stage, uh, Shimada's wife, all right, um, she's a beautiful lady, I think her name, I can't remember her name now, but anyway, Shimada's wife is performing with him in this, so sit back, relax for a couple of minutes and watch the amazing parasol magic articulate dexterity and productions and colour changes and pure oriental magic abilities of Fukai, check this out.
really good, really good, isn't it? And finally, we're going to talk about food. Food, kind of, I love, love that stuff. Food is amazing. I don't know how, where the power source come from. Power source come all over the place. Seriously, so many power cells, aren't they? Amazing stuff. And finally, I came to talk about, uh, I find about a fun magician. Of course, it's Princess Tenko. Princess Tenko was a very big star. I think she was a 70s pop, pop star in Japan, basically. I think her uncle, someone kind of got to be a pop star in Japan, basically. She went from pop stardom to becoming a magician, okay? Magician, basically, female magician. And she became a star in the, in the 80s in Japan, basically. And she kind of, I think we performed quite more in the last couple, couple of decades, basically, up to about 2000s, performing an awful lot in Japan, of anything. And I think she performed also, I believe, I think, I believe she performed in Korea for Kim Il-jong, apparently. I believe so, anyway. They say, anyway, she performed in Korea for him. And, and it's Kim Il-jong's favourite magician's Princess Tenko, apparently. According to Wikipedia, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's true. I'm not going to say it's true. I heard that Kim Il Jong really likes Princess Tanker, okay? But she's a very magician. She's really an illusionist. She's not a manipulator like Fukai Shimada. She's more of an illusionist, okay? Performing illusions kind of stuff. Big illusions, okay? Now, this is interesting. We've looked sourcing around to find stuff on Princess Tenko, okay, which is on the internet. But when this guy's so popular, this girl had a cartoon made about her, a Princess Tenko cartoon made in Japan about her, okay? This is how popular Princess Tenko is, seriously. So anyway, just sit back around, just watch a bit of footage of her performing. She does an amazing appearance in a pyramid to start with, okay, which is a pretty typical Western kind of trick. Everyone's done a pyramid appearance. But she appears in the pyramid anyway, beginning of the, of the show. She goes into the weird kind of bit with a robot, okay? She kind of builds a kind of um, samurai kind of, uh, kind of samurai figure out of nothing. And the samurai figure comes to life, goes bizarre and crazy, okay? And then just disappears entirely, bush like that, okay? It's a good trick, seriously. So sit back and relax. It's really weird as well. It's kind of freaky, actually. Even I don't know how that works, actually. So sit back and relax and watch a couple of minutes of the amazing, uh, massive star of Japan, Princess Tenko, performing the pyramid and also the samurai uh, soldier coming to life and then disappearing. It's really weird. It's quite freaky. Check this out.
that's weird, isn't it? So anyway, so that's Prince Tenko there. We're very evolution dealer. I, pre I presume another apparently she got injured at doing the sword box. She was stuck in the box about 15 years ago in a Japanese show and was put they put the sword through the box and she got injured apparently. But she had recovered, okay. Went off with a recovery of that, which is very good. Really good magicians. Hope you like that. There's a bit of a flavour of um magic from Japan. We've got we've got costumes. Look at the costumes of Prince Tenko, you know, the samurai, the swords, the kind of pyramid, we've got the kind of dancing soldier kind of character, which is a samurai kind of character. And we've got the amazing parasol and, and brano kind of magic and the handkerchief magic of traditional oriental kind of magic of Japan coming from Shimada and Fukai. Really good stuff as I say and uh, very impressive details. So I hope you enjoyed that very much you did okay. I love Japanese magic. If you if you want to say anything about Japanese magic, please leave a comment below if you like Japan, Japanese magic. I want to go to Japan. Please invite me to Japan. Please do, okay? I want to go to Osaka. I want to go to Tokyo and see the beautiful places, okay? The trees and uh, Mount Fuji. I want to see the beautiful kind of architecture and the neon lights of Tokyo. Very much indeed, seriously. I don't want to go really very much indeed, so please invite me. If you, want to say, if you have any opinions or any things about Japanese magic, please leave, leave a comment below. Please do. I know it's a beautiful country and I love oriental kind of magic. Right? So I've been to Hong Kong, I've seen some magic in Hong Kong. I know it's fairly similar. I know Japanese, Japan's got its own particular brand of magic, hasn't it? I hope you enjoyed the very much indeed. Please invite me to, to, to Tokyo, Japan. I want to go one day and see some Japanese magic. So look after yourselves again for another few days. Remember, please subscribe and play. Please hit the link, link below for subscribing. Please do. Remember, also click the links below for 100 videos of magic as well. We do magic as well. 100 videos are there. Please check the videos out. Please do. Imagine you might want to too much channel. Please check the videos out. 100 videos. Anyway, look after yourselves. Please subscribe and see you again very soon for some more magic chat and illusions. See you later on.